you're making a presentation or poster for a professional setting, it can be incredibly cumbersome to edit your figures after exporting them from R. The common problem being is that the font often is too small to see in a large scale, or perhaps you prefer a different font altogether. And this leads to wasted time moving your figure from R into a software such as PowerPoint or another one where you doctor up the image and worry about alignment because you're working on, you know, drawing shapes to cut out different portions of your image and replacing that text with a larger, more uh, sans serif font. And then you have to worry about, you know, creating a merged image and then exporting that. And hopefully the pixel size fits what you need. So when it's blown up, it doesn't look blurry. It's a lot of extra work. Well, what if I told you, and I'm here to show you how you can cut out these issues here and do it all within R. And we're gonna be using Google Fonts. So to go into what that is, briefly, Google Fonts are, is exactly what it sounds like. Google has 15, 000, or 1,500 in some families of fonts, all of various styles. As you can see, I've chosen just sans serif, but there are serif fonts, display, handwriting, and mono space fonts, which really brings up the variety that you can use. You can scroll through and you can call upon these in R independently, load them in, and integrate it into your ggplot. And that is what we are going to be doing very shortly. Now, when you're in R, you need to install the package show text, load it with library show text. If you haven't loaded or installed ggplot, you're gonna need that as well as tidyverse. Now, if we want to load a font from Google Fonts, there's a function in R called font add Google. So if you determine which particular font from Google, we we'll go name equals, and I've listed some below here. These ones are kind of goofy and I'll show proof of concept. And then these sans serif ones are maybe a bit more appropriate for a professional setting. So for instance, name, quote, Geostar, family, Geostar. Okay. You've loaded that in, we copied this. So now using this, you need to use show text auto, and that'll help load the fonts that you've used the font add Google line with. We're going to create a font size um, data. So we're going to put the size of your font within font size. Here I'm saying 24. Perhaps let's just start with 18. Now, find your ggplot. If you want to follow along, we're going to do the iris package. We're going to do species by sepal length. We're going to make it a box plot, theme classic. We're going to have no x-axis label. We're going to have a y-axis label of sepal length in millimeters and the scale color Baridis. Now, this is where we integrate the font that we loaded from Google. Here you can see I did PT Sans but I'm gonna do Geostar. I'm gonna replace all of these. There you go. I replaced everything in the selected area from PT Sands to Geostar. So hopefully we'll be able to see that theme. The Y title equals element text, the family being Geostar, that's the family of font. And then size equals font size, which we set to 18. We're gonna do the axis text. So that'll be the um, numerical variables or the species name on the X and Y axis. Family Geostar, size equals font size. Legend text is gonna be the same and legend title is going to be the same. And as we can see, you get this goofy font making up our legend, our axes and our axes titles. I've previously loaded PT Sans. That's the one we're gonna use in this next example. So if you haven't, do font add Google, name PT Sans, family PT Sans. Return to your plot, highlight theme and on wherever Geostar was at. 
If you don't know where this um, search bar came from, up here, you can do find and replace. Click that, highlight the area. You want to say we're replacing within the selection. We're going to take geo star and replace it with PT settings. We're going to replace all. And as you can see, all four occurrences were replaced with PT SANS. If we remake this plot, we can see the font has changed. Now, lucky for us, this font allows space for increasing the size of the lettering. So why don't we do that? Because if you're making a poster, it may require larger font for people to see. So I changed font size here, still calling it upon it there. Run the plot again, and you see the font size is increased. And there you have it. You're able to customize your plot with a custom font from Google. This will save you time from the cumbersome task of covering up aspects of your plot remaking it entirely within PowerPoint or another software program. And therefore, it'll be a bit more expedient creating your poster or presentation for a professional setting, conference, or for amongst your peers. Leave a like and consider subscribing. Thanks.